Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Class Stamp. Today we're going to be talking about who gets the World Class Stamp and um, who have made the teams between 2015 to 2023. So um, I'm going to go first today in goal. I don't think there's much debate about this one, but uh, I've gone for Edison, the complete goalkeeper, sweeper keeper. Uh, he's got the uh, distribution skills. I think, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper to grace the Premier League. For me, Edison goes in goal at number one. The left back, I've gone Andy Robertson. He has been one of the most uh, standouts left backs during this time frame. Always coming up with assists, revelations in signing from Hull. I went into the Liverpool side, really improved them and gave them really balance, really good balance. So for me, he gets uh, the left back spot. Centre back, I've gone for Virgil van Dijk. When you're talking about um, centre backs, one of the things that I look for is elevating players alongside of you. And no matter who is alongside him, he raises their game and makes them look better than they are. And you can tell that when he's out of the side, the defensive partner isn't as good. He's got distribution, he's a real leader, he's got bags of pace, real Rolls Royce. He gets the centre back slot. Alongside him, I've gone for Ruben Diaz, warrior, great tackler of, of the ball, another leader, another person who elevates who's alongside them. Really come in and fix the issues that Manchester City had in the defence. Won titles, Champions Leagues, great player. Right back, I've gone for Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's a bit of a all-round player, but the amount of assists, goals from right back, free kick taker, corner taker, he contributes all over the pitch. Probably in the next couple of seasons, you'll see him moving further up, taking on even more responsibility. Alexander Arnold gets the, the right back, back slot. So then I'm going for a full 3 3. So uh, defensive midfielder, I've gone for Golo Kante. Keep out of the side that uh, helped Leicester City win the Premier League. Obviously, just a revelation coming in, mopping up balls, cutting people out all over the place. Great tackler, really keep out of the squad. And then once he uh, won the Premier League with Leicester, comes straight to the Chelsea side, won the Premier League again with Chelsea. Really um, key player for them. And was a big part in um, France winning the World Cup. Had Messi in his back pocket. Yeah, for me, N'Golo Kante, uh, best defensive midfielder during this time period. In midfield then, I've gone for two attacking midfielders because N'Golo Kante is that good. So first up, Kevin De Bruyne assists. Chelsea probably gutted that they let the man go. Um, he is the this era of your Gerrard, Scholes, Lampard, he is that dynamo and, and really uh, took over Yaya Torre's place in the Manchester City uh, side. Alongside him, I've gone Philippe Coutinho, another player who could change games, score goals. Who? Hmm? Coutinho. Philippe okay. Coutinho. Uh, uh, <laughs> got his 130 million move to Barcelona. Crazy. Worth every penny. <laughs> Absolute baller of a player, and he just changed games at a blink of an eye. And then the, th the front uh, three, I don't think you can really argue this, um, so I'm expecting you to probably have the same front three. So uh, on the right, I've gone for Mohamed Salah. Goals, yeah, 200 goals now, I think he scored. Um, assists, silky smooth on the ball. Yeah, just uh, what a player. And another one that Chelsea is probably regretting that they've got rid of. And then on opposite side, I've gone Sadio Mane. Again, I think he's kind of uh, changed the game. Scored loads of goals. Always a threat, always a nuisance. We're not so Liverpool. And then up top, up top for the striker, I've gone uh, Sergio Aguero. Always going, scoring bags of goals every season, consistent. And uh, shame his kind of career come to an end a little bit earlier. But then he should have done and missed out on winning the Champions League as well with Manchester against a tough Chelsea side. So... Um, Again, uh, that's another reason why I picked N'Golo Kante, just thinking about it, because he was a key part of uh, Chelsea winning the Champions League. That seems a really dominant Manchester City side. So, uh, yeah, that's my 11. And as for the world-class stamps go, uh, so Edison, he gets the world-class stamp. Uh, Robertson gets the world-class stamp for me. Van Dijk Diaz gets the world-class stamp. <coughs> Trent doesn't get the world-class stamp. N'Golo Kante, world-class stamp. Kevin De Bruyne, world-class stamp. Philip Coutinho doesn't get the world-class stamp for me. And then the front three of Salah, Aguero, Mane all get the, uh, the World Cup. So uh, that's my opinion. Um, Steve, what's what are your thoughts of your team on that time period and uh, who have you gone for? Yeah, so before I jump into my team, <laughs> just want to <laughs> challenge <laughs> one player. Uh, it's probably more the position. 
because I, I agree he's an unbelievable talent. Are you sure? Are you sure you want Trent in a defensive right back role? Because the club he plays for, you know, the top clubs in the Premier League, he's got to be up there as one of the worst right backs defensively. I mean, defensive duties. Yeah. I've seen. Yeah. That I'm I can not remember. Going, well, maybe the past two seasons, his mind has wandered a bit. And I've kind of, I haven't kind of really. Like, for me, he was at fault for Liverpool not doing the uh, quadruple. I think if uh, he would have been switched on a bit more defensively, uh, he let Vinicius Jr. go at the back post. And you have to say as well that the Real Madrid goalkeeper, he had the game of his life saving and real saves. If Liverpool had had a little bit more luck in that final game, they could have won the Champions League. And I think uh, over the course of the season, he made a few errors that led to goals, cost Liverpool some points. So um, if he was a bit more switched on, you can't just blame one player, but you could imagine if if he would have been a bit more switched on defensively, uh, Liverpool could have actually done the quadruple. Yeah, I think uh, he's kind of his mind has wandered a bit. He wants to play further forward. I think that is that's quite obvious. But going from you know the five seasons before that, I think when he came in, he was just hungry to play for Liverpool. Uh, didn't care how he uh, got in there and really done some key moments in big games. I'm thinking of the Champions League fi- uh, quarter final against Barcelona. I think it was took the corner quickly. Countless assists. I don't know how many assists the guys got. Ridiculous numbers. And then goals as well. Yeah, great player. And um, I don't think there's any... We're talking about a right back here as well. So if you're thinking about who else gets in ahead of him at right back, I don't think there's a lot that's had the same level of goals, assists and match winning moments from right back during the past five... What was it? Seven years, eight years. So that was one my decision was based on. But yeah, I take your point there about the defensive side of his game. Well, I will say about the right back... Um, I'll tell you my side there, eh? But I know you haven't given Trent the um, world-class stamp, but there was somebody in a recent video at right back that you did give the world-class stamp, and he hasn't gone to the side, which is Kyle Walker. <laughs> so why have, you, why have you put Trent instead of Kyle? Yeah, so um, Trent gets into it because he's got more assists, and um, he's got um, he's got more goals, and he's got more kind of match-winning moments. Kyle Walker... Is is world class, I'd say, but just he doesn't have. He's a better defender than Trent, I'd say, but uh, he doesn't have the uh, the match winning moments, which is why I put him in the side. And just for for balance, I think if you had Robertson and Trent, just let him go down the wing with N'Golo Kante, Diaz, and Van Dijk. I don't think defense would be an issue, so uh, that's why you get a mighty. But it's a good shout. And yeah, then, think... oops, sorry, go on, Steve. Go on, you go. Coutinho, I don't think he gets in the team, the best team in the Premier League in the last eight years. Uh, as his moments, don't get me wrong, you know, technically great player, but I don't think gets well. Yeah, not not in not in the best players in the last eight to nine years in of this squad we've been doing. So yeah, that's a question, a questionable one for me. World class transfer fee. That's what I think when I think of Coutinho. Hundred thirty million, right? <laughs> yeah. That He's was, probably that was the most there. expensive player in my team. Okay. Okay. That. Um, so. Yeah. And I'll then I, I go for a different striker, but uh, I'll let Steve go first on this side. Yeah. I just, just not to labour the point. Just go back to Trent. I completely agree. Assists, game changing moments, goals. <laughs> um, but just to sum it up, I think um, defensively, like Oleg Luzhny, probably better than him in defence. But anyway, let's move on. Um, so. <laughs> wow. Come on. I'll, That's hard. <laughs> the disrespect. Or even oh Andre, Andre Santos, even, maybe. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll go to the players in my team that you've we've both got, um, just to wrap them up. So I've also got Virgil van Dijk. I also picked uh, Mo Salah. I also picked uh, N'Golo Kante. I also picked Kevin De Bruyne. And that's the end of the same picks there. So I'll, it's quite a little, quite a big change actually between our sides. So uh, I'll start with the goalkeeper. I've actually gone for David De Gea, Dave the Save, um, Paella <laughs> Dave, and his various <laughs> various <laughs> names. Um, I just feel he deserves something. He's he's on his he way out. Something. United. 
<laughs> Stevie's on three hundred grand a week. You don't deserve that. Let's say something. So during this, <laughs> during this time pit period, Manchester United haven't won any titles. Their last title yeah. win was uh, twenty thirteen, and you're putting Dave the save in. Uh, he got the most clean sheets this season. He did get the most clean sheets this season. Uh, is, he, is he not the record holder as well for Premier League? Is that still check? He's not far Petr- off. Petr- 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 is the is the record holder. He can't be far off. I'd and like he, to know how far off he is. He's so he's so good that uh, they're getting rid of him. Don't even want to sign him up for another contract extension. <laughs> it sounds like it was one of those. Here's the contract. Now it's gone, and you're not getting it back. Kind of. Well, he didn't see his contract, did he? <laughs> Let that one slip through his fingers. So he's the goalkeeper for me. So there we go. And I've I put Carl Walker in because I like somebody who can defend, who can square pass, who can pass and run. Play it safe. Play it safe. Yeah. So Carl Walker's in. I gave him the world class stamp, so he can't not really get in this slide for me. So he's in. And then two other positions. I'm going to play uh, what would you probably think is a, is a right-back, actually. I'm going to play him in centre-back. And this is really random, so I'm, I'm sure you're going you're gonna to jump in on this so one. Talking Adams again. <laughs> so I'm going to put in uh, Cesar Aspilicueta as a centre-back in my team. Over Diaz? Yep. Over world-class because... world stamp Diaz? Did I world-class stamp him? I'm not sure I did. I think he, he was did. close. I can't remember. Check back. Somebody check back in the episodes. Let me know. Um, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I did, right? Okay. Anyway, again, I think this guy deserves something just because he's <laughs> always there. He's, he's always star. there. He deserves something. <laughs> you play That's the new definition for world class stamp. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, he's just always Steve. there. Let's stamp him. <laughs> Steve the Samaritan, I think, is your nickname. <laughs> Samaritan Steve. <laughs> I can tell you now he's not getting a world class stamp. He's nowhere near it. But I just felt he got in the team of the year a few times in this era, probably the, the early seasons um, in this era. And yeah, I've slipped him in there. So uh, yeah, good player. That. You're consistent. I will say consistent. You know, great player. Longevity. What's that? Longevity as well. Longevity. Um, Longevity. Yeah. And this other player at left back is going to shock you as well. But again, he made it in. A team of the year, if not, no, I think just one team of the year actually um, is Marcus Alonso. So Marcus. I think a very different left back to a standard left back. I suppose he was tall, absolutely no pace whatsoever. Um, <laughs> you could, you could, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you could free kick in. You could, uh, you could score off a set piece. So, like I said, he made team of the year, and he actually played quite a quite a few seasons in that era for Chelsea um, and before a couple I think as well yeah just he's in he doesn't get a world class down for me though um, because he's not world class basically so I move into midfield and I've gone so I've said about Salah I've said about Kante I've said about De Bruyne this other guy then is um, and I think these are the seasons where he was better um, than the previous era where another panel member picked him so this is uh, Eden Hazard. So he had four seasons in this era to 2019. Um, they were thereabouts. And I think they were his you know, big money move seasons to Real Madrid off the back of it. Um, goals, assists. He was always there thereabouts in my uh, FPL team, um, racking up the points. So he makes it in for me. Um, he doesn't get the world-class stamp. I think I mentioned that earlier. So that's that completes my... Goalkeeper, defence, and midfield, and I've got completely. I'm going four four two here. I'm actually so I play Kante and De Bruyne in the middle with Salah and Hazard mm-hmm. either side. Um, I don't know how you can leave this guy out, considering where he's come from, what he did in that season to win Leicester the league, and still at Leicester banging goals. He's banged in. Yes, he's fallen off the pace a little bit. Certainly last season, I think he only scored three. Four goals. Um, Jamie Vardy. Um, just, well, yeah, well, basically what I said just now. So he's in for me. He doesn't get the world-class stamp. I think he was, for a couple of other players, he would have played for England a lot and I think scored a fair few as well. Uh, and the other guys, you know, kept him out of that. But 
longer than he's been around, in fact. And again, I'm not sure why he's not made it into first team. Hopefully he gets in Matt stats as well. Is Harry Kane. The guy just scores goals for fun. Um, playing very differently, I think, to what he did when he uh, first came in the Spurs side. Um, and by the way, he's not one of their own. He started off at Arsenal. Um, are you claiming him for Arsenal now? Are you? <laughs> but, um, the Tottenham legends. He... <laughs> so, yeah, just bangs the goals in. He'll, I'm sure if he stays in the Premier League, which I hope he does, he'll get the uh, all-time scoring record from Alan Shearer and probably get close to, if not over, 300 goals. So, yeah, um, Harry Kane. How many trophies has he won? So, he gets the world-class stamp for me. <laughs> um, 100%. And... He will win a trophy, and I reckon it could be at the international, international stage. It's going to be that trophy. That's my team. Well, well, okay. So, who's your other centre back? You had Walker, Alonso, Aspilicueta. Um, he plays centre back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And who's the other yeah. one? And uh, DVD. Virgil. Yeah. Okay, Virgil. And you had De Bruyne, Kante, Hazard, and who else was your other midfielder? Salah. Oh, I played a four three three of you. Four four two of school. Salah, yeah. Salah on the right, yeah. Hazard on the left. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then who else did you have? Uh, Kante and Kante. De Bruyne Bruyne. in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, Virgil, not to be mistaken for the WWF wrestler. Uh, yeah. Virgil Van Dijk. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Right. Okay. Any any comments? I know we've talked about that side. Well, there's a few there, isn't there? Yeah. The left back is is well dodged. Alongside, out of all the centre backs you've had in this uh, in this time period, you've gone for the right back and centre back. That's pretty dodge. Walker, they... Alonso, De Gea. I don't think De Gea. I think there's probably it's five goalkeepers it's... better than De Gea in this time Aye, period. He's, he's yeah. too error prone for me. He's he, he's definitely got. I think if Ferguson was there in this era, he would have shipped him out after a few of his errors he's made. So I am. Um, well, I know I haven't done my squad yet, but the gay is questionable for me. Um, yeah, as per Coletta, definitely. <laughs> um, and I know he's got the, I think he's got the most consistent um, game scoring record, 13 games in a row, Rowdy. He had a world-class season. I don't think he, he won't get into my, well, doesn't get into my starting uh, team, even though, you know, he's, um, you know, obviously his pace, God, he was electric for those t- two or three seasons. He's, he's lost it now, as you said. But uh, yeah, he, he he wouldn't get in for me, but uh, yeah. Before we move player. on, Matt, um, Steve, I, I know I did my stamps. Who gets the stamps out of your side? So okay, I'll run through it pretty quick. De Gea, no. Carl Walker, yes. Virgil Van Dijk, yes. Aspilicueta and Alonso, no. Hazard, no. Salah, yes. Kante, yes. De Bruyne, yes. Kane, yes. Vardy, no. Okay. All right, Matt. Over to you. What is your side for? Between the 2015 to 23 seasons. All right then. So we're going to go starting uh, starting goals. Uh, but Edison's going to get the nod for me in goals. For Man City, he probably go on to win another couple of leagues by the way they go in. So, uh, yeah, Edison. Um, I'm going to go with centre-back now. I'm surprised you couldn't fit him in. Well, especially the last squad, Steve. I think it was a, there's room for this guy. Um, Vincent Company. He goes, he goes in for me. Centre-back. Um, you know, probably didn't start off uh, as a world class defender, I thought, but as he, as he grew through the seasons, he picked up obviously, you know, I think he won two or three of them by the time he left. Um, and yeah, some of them, but at the start of this, this year we're talking about, um, yeah, he definitely definitely grew into a world class player for me. So, uh, company gets the stamp. Uh, Edison, I've talked about before, he gets the world class stamp for me. Uh, partnered in company in the centre of defence is. Virgil Van Dijk, um, you know, um, you know, strikers were f- afraid to run around him. He's that fast. You could see him cutting the ball back, spreading out. The, you know, through the history of football, the striker is the predator to go around the defender to score the goal. I think Virgil flipped that for three, four seasons. The strikers feared him. The strikers feared the defender. So um, yeah, goal scoring ability as well. Um, fantastic player. So he gets straight in. Um, those two get in, and as a player I've talked about before, who I can't, who I can't leave out, uh, got to play him at, um, yeah, at left back, um, oh sorry, right back even, which would be um, Ruben Diaz. 
get him in. He can he can play anywhere along the back. You probably play him left back, right back. Uh, doesn't really matter. So um, he's going straight in. World class. Probably like I said, like I said, pick up another few uh, leagues or trophies along the way. Maybe the quadruple next year. The way they're playing. So straight in. And now I'm going to go for um, somebody who we talked about already. Um, I've put him in over. Um, yeah, over over Carl Walker. Uh, it's Trent Trent Alexander. So he gets he gets in for me. Um, like I said, I, Diaz gets the world class stamp. Trent doesn't quite get the world class stamp. But when you talk about Liverpool in the league in years to come, you'll be saying, "Oh, I remember that side." And the first one of the first names on your, your lips will be, "Oh, when they had Virgil, Salah, Trent." They have been the three names you'll be talking about about the great side, Liverpool side that pushed Man City. Uh, could be the, the greatest side that's ever been in the Premier League all the way every season. Um, and he. Those three players there and Allison will be the four people or four players that everyone will remember. So for that reason, his attacking ability, you know, his crosses, they moved him into more of a right midfielder now. But, you know, a few seasons back, a few seasons ago, at right back, he was doing fine. He's only for the last 18 months, he's been found out a little bit. But, you know, still a great player for me. Uh, like I said, iconic, really. Uh, won the league uh, for Liverpool. In he goes. So that's my uh, back four. Uh, you already named two players there, um, Angola Kante and De Bruyne. I mean, it's hard to beat them two into the squad over the seasons they've had uh, and continuing to, to have with De Bruyne. And then someone who I thought um, you may stick in, uh, both of you, uh, was in the same era as Pimpany, winning leagues for Man City, uh, winning, winning cups, and technically up there with anyone, really, uh, Putting the through balls, scoring goals, match winning goals. He had everything. You know, the only thing he may have not scored was some headers because he's quite a small player. But uh, David Silva was absolutely fantastic year in, year out, consistent. Um, and for me, yes, that world class stamp, David Silva, 100%. Uh, De Bruyne also, Kante also gets the world class stamp. So there's my midfield three. Um, and I will say already, I think this trumps both your sides. <laughs> they are, uh, you know... You haven't got left back, this so... Uh, this yeah. is a good one. That's all right. We'll put, we'll put, we'll put Trent, Trent where he wants. And, uh, yeah, Diaz, Diaz can play anywhere at the back. So uh, that's the back that's the back lines. Uh, and up front, then, there's only two strikers who are absolutely nailed on for me. I know I've got a pick in a third, but um, Manchester City legend. Uh, you know, iconic moments. I think his iconic moment was be before 2015 when they won the league, um, 2011 and 12. But um, obviously scored 30 goals a season consistently or up there. Sergio Aguero, um, poacher, uh, lightning fast, um, technically great. Um, yeah, just an absolute goal machine. Straight on, straight on uh, the list. Premier League legend and next player, Liverpool. Probably the Probably, well, if not the, one of the best first touches I've seen when the ball is dropping over the shoulder. Uh, as we all know, Egyptian cotton, <laughs> upgrading to silk, Mo Salah on the left, absolutely fantastic. So Salah gets in for me. Um, what can you say? Fantastic player. I know this last one wasn't Vardy. There was a, it's a toss-up between two players. One has um, come in very recently and one has been... Banging, banging in goals season after season, and I've struggled with this decision. But Trimble. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do it because I think he'll be remembered for it. He'll, this record will stand for years and years to come. And I think I have to put Haaland, Haaland in my side up front, just over Harry Kane, because I think Kane has potential to be forgotten about uh, if he doesn't get the record and he doesn't win a cup. Um, yeah, I think I think the impact Haaland has had has been extraordinary. Um, a good record record breaking goal scoring season, which will probably stand unless he breaks it himself. It's probably going to stand for decades. Um, whilst Harry Kane, yeah, is getting 20, 30 consistently getting goals, but I think what Haaland's done in one season could argue maybe eclipses Kane's Kane's goal scoring because he has he hasn't actually got a record at the moment, does he? Um, so I, I'm going to put, I think, Haaland over the next two years. So if we're going from decade to decade, um, 05 to 15, this will turn out to be. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put mean, Haaland. You uh, mean 15 to, to 25? Yeah. 
think the 25, yeah, which, you know, this is a decade. Um, and I think I'm going to put controversially, you know, but is there anything controversial about this guy? I don't know. I put Haaland in. Hmm. Because I think the only thing you, got, you could say about that. He's actually got a record. He's actually got a record. Um, and he's won the Premier League. And he's won the Champions League. And he's won the FA Cup in one season. And Kane, for all his goals, hasn't got a record or a cup. So I think you're going to put Haaland in. Yeah. I think the only thing you could say is maybe uh, over eight seasons, he's only done it once. And he's likely to do it again, right? But it's just, uh, yeah, I think that's, you can really argue the fact of the quality of the player. Just, uh, you know, a team of the team of the last eight years, just shy of a decade, right? Um, yeah. Uh, if, if we were that's... picking today, that's who I pick, and that's who I have picked. <laughs> uh, the only one who wouldn't get a world-class there, a stamp there for me is Trent. All the rest, world-class. Yeah. Okay. Trent, keepers. Okay. Uh, keepers. Don't trust hey. Steve's pick for keepers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Any, okay. Uh, and yeah. then uh, obviously, if you guys have been watching um, our past three episodes, so we did a ninety-five to 05, 05 to fifteen, fifteen to twenty-three. Uh, quickly, guys, uh, whose team out of the three teams that you picked? Which team do you think would win? So I'll just go first with mine, and I th- I think um, out of the three sides that I picked, the one we just picked today, the fifteen twenty three side would win against uh, any of the other picks I had. Um, what about you, Matt? You picked your fifteen to twenty three side. Yeah, it's close for me. It's gonna be fifteen to twenty three as well. I think that side, that side, the pace. I, I know it's hard to compare eras, but maybe with the pace of the game, just pips the. Um, ninety-five to 05 side for me of of my personal choice. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's tough. Um, how about you, Steve? Uh, who gets the nod out of the three teams? So, based on the react reaction I got for De Gea, Alonso, as <laughs> I think um, I'm not sure I can be pick can pick that team. Um, I <laughs> were you, you going to pick him? <laughs> <laughs> So I, I'm going to go for my 95-05 team. I think Matt Letizier just, just takes it. I think he's the difference. Okay, some uh, some weird loyalty to Matt Letizier there. Um, maybe not. <laughs> okay. The league gone. Matt the gone. I think, I think you, got, you, got right there, you got Shearer. you got some absolute match winners there. And I, I think yeah. most game that the match winners take it for me. Okay, fair yeah. enough. It, it's, it's close. I think, yeah, I think the only thing... Was the defending was yeah it's so close it's so close but I think these these strikers would just pip uh, on my, my my personal side the strikers would just pip the strike well the strike force of of the ninety five oh five yeah. and all these defenders here you know it, it, especially obviously the three centre backs are on this squad um, yeah they were probably probably faster probably faster more pace than the the older type centre back so that's that's literally the only I love to see it I love to see uh, <laughs> The two heroes going head to head, but uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, okay. Well, that's our picks, guys. Let us know what you thought. If you got any any thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Is anyone that we missed out? Uh, who do you agree with? Who do you disagree with? Does someone get the world class stamp that you don't agree with? Uh, let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like on the video for us. And if you want to be notified of new videos, consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified once our new videos drops. But that's it for this time, guys. And we'll catch you all on the next World Class Stamp.